Hello everyone and welcome back to my F1 2020 My Team Career Mode for the Russian Grand Prix today in Season 2, the 6th to last round of the championship. I'm going to need to get a move on if I want to get this season done before the next F1 game comes out. But uh, anyway, uh, we uh, move on then. Uh, this is the end of practice and uh, a spin there uh, caused by uh, my controller going flat and I had no uh, vibration. Uh, in the controller makes it very difficult to uh, control the, tr the traction on corner exit when you don't have that feedback so uh, that's why uh, that happened but uh, anyway uh, we uh, move on uh, this is the championship standings at uh, the moment we have a, a fairly sizable lead it's got to be said uh, Roman Grosjean sitting in fourth place uh, has some work to do if he wants to drag himself back uh, into this title in fight Good job. but uh, we go fastest in Q1 Roman Grosjean uh, goes third fastest, so uh, our team has good pace here. Uh, no real surprise knockouts uh, in Q1 other than uh, Guan Yu Zhou, but uh, that's uh, about it. Uh, He's really been struggling in that racing point uh, recently, and uh, Lance Stroll doing a decent job there. But uh, Q2 then, uh, Matsushita into the top 10. Decent job by him. That racing point hasn't seen a lot of development. Uh, we dropped down the order a little bit, but not by too much. And uh, we'll be able to uh, fight forwards from there uh, when it comes uh, to Q3. Uh, so let's get into that uh, right now. And uh, here we go uh, for qualifying uh, part 3, our first uh, flying lap. Uh, a little bit messy through the first chicane. Uh, nice and easy flat uh, through this long left hand. I love that corner and uh, a lot more difficult in the Formula 2 cars uh, than what it is in Formula 1. Uh, and it may be more difficult in the race because heavy rain is forecast uh, throughout the entire race, so uh, that could be uh, a trickier Fantastic. section as we have the big old the slide out of the final time. corner. It doesn't cost us too much as it's such a short run uh, to the line. Uh, we fast forward to the end of the session and uh, we actually uh, fast forward a bit too much. We have to uh, cut a few corners on our outlap to try and uh, make sure we start our lap uh, in time but uh, I think we'll just about get there and uh, indeed we do uh, with uh, uh, you can count on one hand how many seconds we had to spare there so uh, that is how important it was to, uh, to get a very rapid outlap but uh, as you can see we're not improving on uh, our uh, initial time we absolutely send it into the chicane uh, in the third sector and uh, we cost ourselves uh, a second or so and uh, yeah our life is done there's no way we can improve so uh, it's going to be uh, based on our initial lap it might be good enough though uh, because we are still fastest and uh, not many people will have laps left to complete so uh, I think we might just get away with it here we round the final corner and we cross uh, the finish line Fantastic. and it is going to be pole position for the Russian Grand Prix and uh, just about holding on there and with qualifying complete Let's review our top three today. The Scientist, Bottas, and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So there we have it, pole position. Uh, not by a huge margin though, and uh, Remy Grosjean uh, down the order a bit actually, so he has some work to do in the race if he wants to uh, get a podium here. Let's get into it. Welcome along then to Sochi and the Russian Grand Prix, one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years, so let's see if that can change today. Well, it's certainly not the best weather out on the Sochi street circuit today. A track that boasts 18 corners, 12 to the right and six to the left. And it's a track that combines both fast corners and long straights, resulting in speeds of excess of 200 miles an hour. But with these conditions, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a safety car out there today. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about the scientists. They've got a really good lead in the championship going into this weekend, so it feels to me that they've got one hand on the trophy. Certainly there are worse positions to be in, but it's vital they don't let complacency creep in. As soon as you let yourself think it's over before it actually is, that's where everything can and often will go wrong. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. The scientist lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Sainz, Roman Grosjean, and Verstappen, Kvyat, 
Matsushita, Albon, and Sergio Perez. Ocon, Leclerc, Lance Stroll, and De Vries. Russell, Joe, Daniel Ricciardo. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Kevin Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Norris, Latifi, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And now it's time to head down to the track. So here we are on the grid then for the Russian Grand Prix and uh, it is going to be a no-stop strategy uh, on the wet compound tyres. Uh, that is something I have not seen for a while. Uh, we could do a one-stop, it is possible, but slower by 7 seconds or so. So uh, yeah, over 7 seconds, 7.5. So yeah, it's not really feasible uh, realistically to do that, so it's going to be a no-stop. Uh, and just a flat out race uh, to the end, 300 kilometers uh, in this one as we get ready to go to the five red lights. And away we go for the Russian Grand Prix, nice and easy off the start, trying to absolutely minimize uh, the wheel spin and uh, just feed the power in as slowly as we possibly can. And uh, that actually gives us a really great launch off the line. And uh, we're going to be unchallenged as we head uh, into the chicane. Uh, for the first time being very careful there as uh, you can see the uh, lack of traction coming in already as uh, the uh, mirror surface on the road is not uh, providing uh, a lot of uh, friction for the tires to uh, grip onto and uh, it's very very slippery out here at the moment so uh, yeah we're just going to try and hold our position as best we can you can already see uh, the second place car there of Valtteri Bottas uh, putting the pressure on as uh, we are just trying to uh, keep the car pointing uh, in uh, the right direction uh, on this circuit so uh, we just uh, try and keep this going try and uh, do the best we can uh, through the, re the rest of uh, this opening lap and through the rest uh, of this race but right now uh, we are struggling just a little bit but uh, as long as we keep it uh, on the race surface uh, I think we'll be uh, just fine so uh, we continue on and uh, as we do so uh, you can see going very deep there into the chicane and uh, that's going to give an opportunity to Bottas as we go deep again through the left hander Bottas uh, gets through slides through down there and uh, we try and get back up the inside no room there and uh, we stay behind Valtteri Bottas I was trying to get to the left hand side uh, through uh, that very sort of tight and awkward chicane but uh, yeah, we just couldn't get uh, the car turned across. Bottas was able to slide through on the inside and uh, take that position. We may have an opportunity to uh, at, we may have an opportunity to come back at him here though, as we uh, head uh, along at the main straight. Not a great exit though, as uh, we will need to now look at uh, the car behind Carlos Sainz in the McLaren as he now has a very good run here as he looks to the inside as we head up towards the chicane once again Carlos Sainz down the inside but we go very deep make sure we cover him off but up on the curve wheel spin and the car sliding Sainz around the outside of turn three and he gets the move done Carlos Sainz up into second position in that McLaren great job as we have a big old slide there and uh, really struggling and uh, contact there with Lewis Hamilton as well as he tried to get the nose in around the outside I didn't uh, quite see him there sorry about that Lewis but uh, we come together uh, once again uh, in this career mode I've lost count of how many times uh, we have made contact uh, with Lewis Hamilton but uh, anyway we continue on then and uh, now uh, closing up to the back of Carlos Sainz once again took us a while to get a rhythm but uh, now that we uh, uh, getting on top of things another big slide though and that's going to really cost us some time and uh, thankfully uh, Hamilton's actually dropped away just a little bit and uh, we were able to uh, hold the position there uh, quite nicely but uh, now as we continue on uh, putting the pressure on Carlos Sainz down the inside into turn four later on the brakes Sainz okay, with the switch back though great and us. great traction uh, out of the right hander and Carlos Sainz back up the inside cuts us off in the braking zone, that's very brave to uh, move across like that, but uh, he uh, manages to uh, do it as we have a look to the inside, down the inside of Carlos Sainz, no we back out of it, that would have been uh, very, very awkward to uh, try to make the overtaking move there, so as we continue on, absolutely no visibility here as we head along the back straight, as we have a look to the right hand side of Carlos Sainz, we go down the inside into the chicane, laid on the brakes up and over the curb very deep there almost off the circuit completely we do make the move on Carlos Sainz that was way too aggressive though it could have uh, waited a little longer for that one I think but uh, we managed to uh, make it work 
uh, as Juan Yujo retires from the race uh, with a mechanical failure to that uh, racing point car, unfortunate for the Chinese driver. Uh, he is out of the Russian Grand Prix. We continue on though and catch up to Valtteri Bottas. We switch to the inside, down the inside, and uh, we'll try to make the move in the same place we did on Carlos' side. It's a much cleaner move uh, on Valtteri Bottas, and uh, we're able to uh, close that one off nicely uh, on the fin and retake the lead of the Russian Grand Prix. Nice switch to the outside as we head down uh, towards the chicane. It became the inside and uh, we managed to find our way through there nicely. Uh, left him some room uh, on the outside, but uh, he wasn't uh, able to use it. He didn't carry uh, as much speed through the mid corner. We go on board with Bottas, and uh, from his perspective, we actually made quite significant contact there. Uh, there was no damage, uh, I believe, to his car. Uh, there may have been. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. But uh, yeah, Bottas just turned in really hard there, and uh, that, uh, uh, yeah, made the... Uh, uh, forced a bit of contact but uh, you can see we went wide and Bottas got back through anyway so uh, all's fair once again uh, and Bottas are back into the lead as we are going to have to try and uh, do the same thing again as we have a good little bit of slip stream here can we make a move to the inside not close enough we'll go for it anyway down the inside of Valtteri Bottas and we'll just about squeeze through uh, Bottas very cooperative there and uh, you know, backing out of it otherwise we would have uh, pushed him right off the road uh, and uh, that would not have been uh, very polite. So uh, we continue on and uh, we're still under pressure uh, from the fin as we head through turn three once again. Taking a bit of a wide line here, trying to turn in late and carry more speed. A big old slide though as we're trying to counter steer sideways across the road. Bottas has made contact with us as well and uh, here's the onboard uh, with the fin. Just clips the back end of us as we are having a moment and uh, he's able to continue on with damage. We've gotten away with it more or less. We've just cost ourselves a bunch of time. Here's the replay. Uh, as we were under pressure from Bottas trying to carry as much speed through here as possible and uh, the back end just sliding away and both of us sideways as we enter the next camera shot. Uh, damage to the front wing of Valtteri Bottas as we find a very small window of clear air to uh, try and get the car uh, flick spun around and uh, we do manage to get our race back underway without losing a horrendous amount of time down into seventh position though and uh, Bottas uh, will uh, have to make a stop for a new front wing so uh, thankfully though uh, we have no damage that won't be the case if this happens in the next Formula 1 game uh, diffuser damage is now a thing but now down the inside and uh, making the move uh, stick on Max Verstappen, nicely done there, and uh, we move ourselves up into uh, fifth uh, position as Bottas has made a stop as well. Uh, next up is the Russian at his home event, Danny Kvyat, uh, running in the top four at the moment, so uh, he will be uh, very happy with how this race has played out so far. Uh, the Russian uh, doing a good job, but uh, as we continue on, we'll see if we can spoil the party a little bit and uh, make a move. Uh, on Daniel Kafiat as we carry the speed through turn three down the inside of turn four and this is quickly becoming a favorite little overtaking spot for us and uh, we make the move on Danny Kafiat and uh, the visibility uh, absolutely horrendous Carlos Sainz makes a stop uh, out of uh, the lead of the race Carlos Sainz uh, so the leader has uh, decided to make a pit stop that was scheduled uh, there was no damage to the car and uh, Carlos Sainz deciding that making a pit stop might be worth it here so uh, we'll see if he can come through the field later on. It'll be very difficult for him. We get ahead of our teammate Roman Grosjean. Uh, make the move on him. He saw us coming, left us the room on the inside. And uh, that was a nice, uh, clean, uh, and fair move on Roman Grosjean. And uh, now we can uh, focus our attention on Lewis Hamilton as we carry the speed through turn three down the inside of turn four. And we'll slide through nice and easy there and uh, take the lead of the race uh, from Lewis Hamilton. We continue on. And he is really piling on the pressure, though, uh, is Lewis Hamilton as we continue on. Grosjean's there as well. He's going to go to the outside. Three wide almost as we head uh, into the chicane. We pinch Hamilton to the inside. And Grosjean has got some momentum uh, on his side as we here now head through turn three. As uh, Grosjean and Hamilton now fighting side by side as we're having a moment up in the distance. But uh, it looks like Grosjean is going to get ahead. And Kafiat as well up into third position Hamilton down to fourth so Daniel Kafia taking advantage of that fight and uh, that's a great move by the Russian uh, to get himself up into the podium there's a replay of the moment that we had uh, that uh, may have just distracted Hamilton a little bit because you can see just here Hamilton has a moment of his own and just unsettles him enough slows him down just slightly and that's enough to let Daniel Kafia up into third position in this race 
great opportunistic move there by Daniel Fiat. We continue on and now Grosjean is down the inside as we head into the chicane and uh, we give him a bit of room. We just about maintain the position as we head uh, through the left hand at turn three and uh, we will hold off Rem and Grosjean here. Uh, on this attempt but uh, Grosjean has a bit of extra pace in hand at the moment I think as uh, you can see we're really having to push the limits uh, to stay ahead and uh, it's uh, okay the rain staying around for a bit longer but Grosjean gets through at the penultimate corner we go down the inside of the final corner squeeze back through on our teammate and uh, we retake the lead but uh, how long will this last Grosjean is uh, not going to give up too easily as uh, we head uh, through the first corner. Here's the onboard from Grosjean and you can see he's gaining in the slipstream uh, with the uh, power turned right to the max to the inside goes Romain Grosjean. We go side by side into the chicane once again and we're going to bail out this time and uh, take uh, to the escape road. We just clip the bollard there slightly and uh, the uh, foam barrier uh, disintegrates as we now go side by side with Lewis Hamilton. Fiat was able to get through as well and we're going to go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton uh, through turn four. Thank you Lewis for leaving us the space on the exit there. Uh, nicely uh, done there and uh, great respectful racing but uh, as we continue on we'll see now if we can catch up to Daniel Kofia. You can notice we are on now uh, the final lap of the race. Uh, we just haven't had the pace uh, to catch up to Daniel Kofia. Hamilton's pace has really dropped away. He's 15 seconds behind us and uh, not uh, all too far ahead of Max Verstappen. Uh, but uh, I don't think Hamilton has damage or he'd be a lot slower and uh, probably holding up a queue behind him. So I'm not sure what's happened, but Hamilton's pace has really dropped away uh, in the final stage. As someone who has got all the pace in the world, though, is Romain Grosjean. He's fought from down the order in this one. He's going to come around the final corner now. He's going to win the Russian Grand Prix. Great drive, Romain Grosjean. Daniel Kafiat at his home race will hold on for second as we cross the line for third. Whew. What a race there with no pit stops involved uh, other than that one for Carlos Sainz. The rest of us, whole race on one tyre set. Uh, that's an achievement in itself. And uh, Romy Grosjean uh, was the master in the moisture today. Great drive by him uh, in this one. Daniel Kvyat, his own race, great result too uh, for the Russian. It wasn't always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Rain always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order, and they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this, but they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So Roman Grosjean keeps his title hopes alive with a win here today. Daniel Kofiat will be over the moon with a second place at his home event in the Renault. Uh, that was an unexpected result uh, from him. We finish up in third and some decent points for us. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. The scientist increases their championship lead. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Daniel Gafiat has uh, been doing a great job in that Renault. If you compare it to his teammate Esteban Ocon, uh, he started and finished 11th in this one. Uh, Kvyat, uh, well, was fighting more or less for the lead. Uh, it might as well have been. He's, his pace was absolutely mega. I just had nothing on him at the end. Uh, that final lap where I was keeping up, uh, I'd been running rich to uh, burn off a bit of fuel uh, that we'd uh, had saved up, uh, but even then I just had nothing. I couldn't couldn't catch up to him. So yeah, it was a great race uh, for Daniel Kvyat. Uh, great one for Grosjean as well. He uh, came through from uh, a uh, me mediocre qualifying and uh, was able to uh, bring home the uh, result uh, in the end. Uh, a third place for us is uh, 
certainly not bad either. So uh, I, can't, I can't be too disappointed. Uh, with that, we extend our championship lead on uh, both Valtteri Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo. And uh, now it's looking like Roman Grosjean uh, may be our main rival. Uh, the next round is the Japanese Grand Prix, uh, a circuit I very much enjoy, but not one of, uh, I uh, am particularly uh, good at, so <laughs> uh, that will make things interesting there. So uh, it uh, is always a fun circuit though, uh, Suzuka, really, really uh, interesting one. So uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll look forward to that one, but uh, yeah, uh, back to this one though, we had a great battle uh, with Grosjean, but at the end of the day, we just didn't have the pace that he did. Uh, once again, Grosjean has really been driving well uh, in uh, the last half of this season, so uh, yeah, this is uh, why we uh, brought an experienced driver on board uh, for our team uh, to uh, make these results count, and uh, yeah, uh, that is... Uh, working out for us quite well uh, in terms of the Constructors' Championships, we're dominating now. Uh, we, you know, we're getting double podiums or you know, even getting one car on the podium, which is scoring so many points, and uh, it's uh, been really, really good for us. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Okie dokie. It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? There's always time for it to change, of course. We're in a really good position now. It's just extending and extending our championship lead, but uh, Romy Grosjean's been uh, scoring a lot of points recently. I'm getting a bit worried about him. He's been uh, absolutely on fire uh, the last few rounds, so uh, we'll see how uh, things uh, play out for him. You must be thrilled to be up on the podium. Yeah, it was a very difficult race, so uh, coming home with a whole bunch of points uh, is... Uh, Always a target in uh, in these ones. I uh, didn't quite have the pace today, though. Would you say that your rival is still on your level? Yeah, Hamilton had uh, a bit of a difficult difficult race today. I'm not sure what happened. The weather was miserable today, but do you feel this was an advantage for you? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't really enjoy the wet conditions all too much. Uh, the car uh, was uh, performing just fine. There was just uh, a few too many uh, mistakes uh, creeping in there. Well, that's everything. Thanks, Claire. And uh, mistakes were uh, what cost us. There was nothing wrong with our lap speed. Uh, we were setting fastest laps at various points throughout that race. But, yeah, just the over overall uh, consistency just uh, wasn't there. Too many uh, mistakes on the curbs and uh, on the uh, acceleration zones. And uh, that's uh, what cost us the, uh, the time in the end and uh, what uh, kind of prevented us from catching Kvyat at the end uh, because we definitely should have had the pace uh, over Kvyat but I mean to be fair to him he was doing a mega mega job uh, in that Renault but uh, anyway uh, we're going to do uh, some uh, things here we're going to do the uh, reaction training for Remy Grosjean uh, we're going to do the uh, visit sponsor headquarters and uh, we're also uh, going to decide uh, between the uh, area department focus or the aerodynamics equipment upgrade. Uh, big decision there, the effects are honestly uh, not that different. One gives us more resource points but also uh, lowers the morale of uh, some of the other departments so that's not great but uh, anyway uh, we ended up uh, going with the equipment upgrade I think. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to do a uh, upgrade to the rear downforce, and uh, we're actually going to try and rush that upgrade in uh, and get it in for the Japanese Grand Prix. A bit of extra rear downforce around the Suzuka circuit, make the car nice and steady and stable. Uh, certainly won't be a bad thing, so uh, we're going to try and do that and try and rush some upgrades uh, towards the end of this season uh, when it is most important to get them on as early as possible as we uh, continue through then uh, we'll see if that upgrade uh, goes on to okay. the car we We've do get the, the brakes upgrade there the but uh, as we we'll uh, get an invitational event uh, to go to uh, we're not going to do that I didn't really have uh, the time uh, normally I would uh, do those that uh, but uh, anyways we continue through uh, unfortunately that rear downforce upgrade it does uh, does fail but we do have enough uh, resource points in reserve uh, to repurchase that and that will come in for uh, the uh, US Grand Prix uh, as was uh, originally 
uh, scheduled. So uh, that is uh, guaranteed now to come in uh, for that race. But uh, other than that then, uh, I don't think there's uh, too much else uh, that we did. Uh, yeah, rivalry uh, has ended with Lewis Hamilton. We beat Lewis Hamilton uh, in uh, that rivalry. But uh, anyway, uh, other than that then, uh, we uh, scroll across uh, to the uh, driver perks uh, is what I'm looking for here uh, because we put, purchased three of the uh, final ones uh, last time. We'll get the uh, final uh, one there and uh, now we have maxed out uh, all of those uh, driver perks. Uh, all of them uh, as high as we can get them. Uh, so that is uh, good. Uh, we uh, also, uh, I didn't mention it, but uh, we did that entire race without all of our uh, additional sponsors. Uh, the Looper one stayed there, but uh, when the other uh, sponsors, when we had to re-sign those uh, other sponsors, Satellite, Sudu, and Zen, Zenze, Zenzare, Zanzare, whatever they are, uh, they all disappeared. Uh, and this happens every time, I just kind of forgot uh, to put them back on the car this time. Uh, normally I uh, will do that though, but uh, you can see doing that now, putting all the stickers back on. And uh, there she is, uh, back to... Uh, the uh, car's normal self. But uh, other than that then, uh, now there is not uh, too much else uh, left to cover. So uh, I will say thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you next time for the Japanese Grand Prix. Let me know what you thought and uh, I will say goodbye. Sayonara.